Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of July 29th through August 4th. So I'm finally going into August even though we are well into September and almost in October now. So as usual, I'm super behind in my planning but thank you all so much for sticking with me here. And for this week, I have a really, really pretty foiled kit from Sadie Stickers and this is in a really light champagne gold which is probably like my favorite foiling. And um, the kit is called Refresh, and I'm not sure if it's still in her shop, but I did pick this up over the summer. Um, the kit comes with a set of these bow headers, which are really pretty and match the color scheme of the kit. And then here we have the nine full boxes, and I purposely chose this kit for this particular week because um, not only was I traveling, so it was like perfect to have this little suitcase, but it was also the last week of my summer break, so I did start work the Monday um, after this week was over. And so the latter half of the week when we came back from our road trip, I did spend a lot of time just relaxing and renewing and refreshing myself before the school year began. So I just thought this was so, so perfect for this particular week. On this page, we have all the functional boxes like the half boxes, appointment labels, quarter boxes, bill due, habit trackers. We have some bow checklists and then a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar. And then here we have two sets of headers. We have, I think these are just some washi strips over here, two more half boxes, some text stickers, functional icons, and then check flags, as well as a weekend banner at the bottom. And then the last page here is also foiled and it has the date covers. We have some foiled boxes here. We have more quarter boxes. And then I think these are the bottom washi strips. It comes with two different um, patterns, which I think are both gorgeous. And then we have some flags. So it definitely comes with quite a variety of stickers and I love that it does have a lot of functional boxes because those are what I pull into planning the most often. So yeah, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna work on my bottom washi first. I don't know yet if I wanna use both of these strips or if I wanna pull in some Simply Gilded. So that's something I'll just um, kind of explain as I go along. I feel like I've got a pretty good system down for um, whiting out the bottom section of the planner. Initially, I was whiting out pretty much all of it and it was wasting a lot of whiteout. So I think this is a really great way to um, just white out the parts that are necessary instead of the entire thing. Um, and I actually really like how that turns out. So for this week, I did white out a little bit more on these sides because the um, paper was quite thin. And so I decided to white out the bolder lines so that they don't peek through from underneath the washi. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to my sidebar. And for this week, the large um, hexagon monthly did not match the kit. Um, so I did go ahead and white out all of it. I placed down a full box in the top corner and I just got these really awesome monthly script stickers. These are from Heather B. Co. She sent them to me as a little surprise package and I haven't had a chance to um, upload that haul yet, but hopefully pretty soon. Um, so anyways, I really like how that lettering fits in the top corner. And then I continue building my sidebar. So first I put down a bow header and then I use the habit tracker to track my working out for the week. I then used a foiled header from the kit and placed down the, I think it's the bow checklist because it actually has seven bows, which is really perfect to mark um, a happy moment for each day of the week. And then I used another um, foiled header with the Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. There was a small sliver of space left at the bottom, so I go ahead and use another bow header just to um, take up that space. And then I used the script stickers from the kit as headers for the sidebar. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to placing down the date covers. And for this week, um, the kit did not include date dots, so I did pull some in. These are from, I think, Simply Watercolor Co. And they're just really teeny tiny, so I feel like it matched the style of the kit really well. And then starting on Monday, first I put down a bow header at the top, and then I used a quarter box with a location heart icon from Simply Laura Paper Shop to mark that we drove out to Lake Tahoe that day. We were actually staying in Reno on this day, um, so we just decided to do a day trip out to Tahoe. I moved to the bottom and placed down a full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it and then I continue with the day. First I pulled in this three heart checklist that is from Paper Blush Bar to mark some of the things we did while we were out in Tahoe and we did grab some beer so I pulled in this beer sticker from Paper and Milk. I then worked a bit out of order because I wanted to see how much space I had left to mark the things that I wanted. So at the end of the night, we randomly found out that one of our friends was in Reno at the same time through Instagram, of course. So we went and met up with him for a beer and that was just a really fun little coincidence. And I put that on a half box with a heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. 
I then marked our dinner that night, so we went and grabbed some pizza for dinner with my parents, and that pizza sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, and then in the remaining space, I put down an appointment label to mark that we went to Circus Circus, which is one of the casinos in Reno, and we just like played some random arcade games in their like children's section. Since my boyfriend and I don't gamble, we just decided to play some of those little carnival games instead, and then um, that was it, so I moved to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I first started by putting down a quarter box, and that suitcase sticker is from Sweet Fox Paper Re. I use that to mark that we packed because we were heading out of Reno that day and back to Oakland. Then we got some pho for lunch so I used a pho sticker from Hazel Sticker and initially I decided to use some bold writing um, but I decided it didn't really go with the kit very well and so I whited that out and just used regular writing instead. I then put down a half box with a beer sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark that we drove out to Santa Rosa to check out Russian River Brewing Company. It's just a pretty famous brewery that I have not been to before, and so um, we kind of made a detour out there to check it out. I then put down a full box underneath that, and then I used a bow header with a quarter box to mark where we went for dinner. So after Santa Rosa, we drove to Napa, um, which was kind of on the way back to Oakland, and we got some dinner there. My parents were there not too long ago, and they went to um, this really cool little market area and they really wanted to take us and then put down a strip of that marble header and at the bottom I used a gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co to mark that we watched Schitt's Creek at the end of the night and I've talked about the show before it's definitely one of my favorites so highly recommend you guys checking that out if you haven't already and on that header I just marked that we made it back to Oakland and stayed over at our friend's place. On Wednesday, I put down the full box with a suitcase, which I planned out intentionally because we were heading home that day. Then I put down a bow header with the scallop label. I believe this is from Panda Bird Design. And um, I used a gold foiled coffee icon from Randy.Plans to mark that my boyfriend and I got some coffee in the morning. And then uh, my parents took us to do some sightseeing around Berkeley. So I decided to use this really cute Hello Kitty Polaroid camera. Um, that is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. Um, so I use that to to mark our little sightseeing trip and then we met up with my sister to do a family lunch before we headed back home and the gold foiled heart icon is from white deer stationery I then put down that flag at the bottom and the gold foiled bow is from Avenue K Designs. It came in a little sampler that she sent along and I used that to mark that we made it home finally after about a week on the road and um, to mark the road trip I used a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. At this point, I decided there were too many doodly icons kind of all concentrated in that Monday, Tuesday area. So I lifted up the pizza and I put down a gold foiled um, utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks. And then I put the pizza sticker on Tuesday night instead because I remembered that that's what we actually had instead of burgers. Um, and then continuing with my spread on Thursday, I first put down a bow header and a half box underneath that. The sleeping mask sticker I placed down is from Planning Like a Pro. I use that to mark that I just had a really Really lazy day on Thursday which was so nice after um, just a long trip away from home and then underneath that I used a to-do header with a three bow checklist from chic blossom prints to mark some things that we got done um, I just did like a load of laundry and then we went and checked my PO box and got some groceries the PO box icon is from magic prints co I then put down a full box at the bottom and above that I used a flag sticker from the kit with a TV icon from Magic Prince Co to mark that we watched more of Schitt's Creek that night and then in the remaining space above I just put down this little quarter box and I think I cut up like a little header to put on top of it so I could take up some space and that cute little washi icon I think is from Planning Like a Pro and I used that to mark that I filmed a haul video that day. Moving to Friday, I first put down a marbled header and I pulled in this Remember Script sticker from Rose Color Days um, just to add some foil. And then on that day, my boyfriend and I actually went and grabbed some lunch at a Japanese barbecue place. I used another gold foiled utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that. And I initially felt like I took up too much space with my writing, so I condensed it a little bit so that I could save some space for the rest of the day. I decided to start from the bottom again and so at the very bottom I used a half box with a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts and on that I just marked that we had a beer and sake night um, because we had a total blackout that night. Um, it lasted for I think over 12 hours so it was definitely quite a while and we had to like cook in the dark and eat in the dark. I mean we had like a candle and stuff but it was pretty dark and just like kind of a little adventure and so to mark the power outage I used this shocked emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Initially I wrote blackout 
out. But then when I looked at it, I kind of thought of like blacking out from alcohol, which was obviously not what happened. So I decided to change it to power outage instead because I feel like that more accurately describes what happened. Um, above that, I put down a bow header and then I used a full box on top of that. And I had just a little bit of space left. So I used this three heart checklist from the kit to mark some things that I had gotten done that day. I didn't really have space for any icons, so I just decided to leave it and move on to the weekend. For the weekend, I first placed down some marble headers at the top, and then I pulled in the weekend banner from the kit, which um, is pretty small, so it didn't take up too much room. And on Saturday, I first started by putting down a full box at the top, and then I decided to just put down my full box for Sunday as well, because I knew I wanted it on the bottom. Then moving back to Saturday, I used a bow header with a flag and this really happy Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we finally got the power back on, um, like I said, like 12 hours later. And on that day, I went Went shopping with my parents um, at an outlet mall that was nearby so I used this shopping girl sticker from paper bear co to mark that trip I then used this foiled quarter box from Nikki plus three to mark where we got dinner um, my boyfriend ended up joining us for dinner he didn't want to go shopping because that's just not really his thing um, but he did join us for dinner and then we got boba after that so to mark boba I used some gold foiled stickers from Randy dot plans at the end of the night, we played Mahjong with my parents. I initially used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji, but then I switched it for a Mahjong sticker from Hazel Sticker instead. On Sunday, I first started by putting down a bow header at the top, and then I stacked a couple strips of the marbled headers together um, and pulled in a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji to mark that it was the last day of my summer. And I was super sad because I feel like the summer went by so, so fast, and I just really wasn't ready to go back to work. I then put down this planner sticker from Tickled Pink Planning to mark that I went and tried to look for a new work planner. I used one from Target last year that I absolutely loved, but they weren't carrying the same one. And it was really hard for me to find a new planner that I liked. I went to like six different stores, not even kidding. And it was just like a really frustrating situation. Um, so anyways, I decided to mark that. Underneath that, I put down a half box and then an appointment label because I just wanted to um, kind of already put down the functional boxes I was going to use. and. On the half box, I used a heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that we went over to our friend's house and played the third part of like this board game that we were playing. It's called Pandemic Legacy and it takes forever to finish. And then on the appointment label, I marked that we watched more Shits Creek to close out my summer break. And like I said, I was super sad about summer being over, um, but the first couple weeks of work, the kids weren't going to be back to school yet. So it was going to be pretty chill and um, kind of like an easy transition back to work. So anyways, now I'm just tracking in my sidebar my workouts which I did not do this week my happy moments and my dinners for the week and once I'm done with that I just go ahead and show you all the stickers that I have left which will be included for a leftovers giveaway now I'm just doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into this kit there's definitely a lot because I feel like Sadie stickers just does such a nice job of foiling and it makes me want to bring in a lot more from my collection and yeah that is it for the last week of my summer break and I'm sure you guys feel the same way but it feels like I just started my summer spreads and they are already over but it was super fun while it lasted I had like the best summer memories and um, you know I love memory planning because I get to document all these memories and adventures in my life which is super special to me um, so anyways thank you guys so much for joining me today in this plan with me I hope you guys enjoyed and please let me know if you have any questions as usual thank you so much for supporting my channel and I will talk to you guys next time bye